To make a bind of edge that looks similar to the gorgeous yarn over edging, start by making a reverse yarn over. That means we place the right needle on the working yarn and wrap the needle with the yarn from back to front, like this. Then we make a slip slip knit decrease. We do it the classic way. We slip one stitch knit wise, slip the next stitch knit wise, then we return these two stitches to the left needle. This time we do it purl wise without twisting the stitches again. And without even taking the right needle out of these stitches, we wrap the tip of the needle with the yarn and pull the wrap through, knitting these two stitches together. Then we place the resulting stitch on the left needle pro-wise, but again we don't take the right needle out, instead we push it a bit further so that it enters the next stitch and we knit these two stitches together through the back loop. Now it is time to take care of this yarn over that's been patiently waiting for its turn. We pass this yarn over over the other stitch. So we insert the tip of the left needle into the yarn over from left to right and pass it over the other stitch and off the needle. Then we return this stitch from the right needle to the left needle purlwise. And then we do the same thing. Reverse yarn over, slip slip knit decrease, knit two stitches together through the back loop, and pass this yarn over over the resulting stitch. And then slip the resulting stitch to the left needle. If you want to make these open stitches, the droplets, if you want to make them bigger, then make the yarn overs looser. So when you make a yarn over, uh, keep it loose so that it has more yarn to form a bigger loop. And then do the same thing. Slip, slip knit, then knit it together through the back loop and pass the yarn over over the resulting stitch and then slip the stitch to the left needle. To help these droplets, these loops shine, pull each strand slightly when you block your project and that will open up these holes and will make a lovely droplet bind off edge. This bind off method is good for binding off stitches both in projects worked back and forth and the ones worked in the round. But the edge is not reversible. It looks good on both sides of the work. This is the right side and this is the wrong side, but the look is not identical. So for best results, bind off stitches in a right side row with the nicer side of the fabric facing you. To get the full tutorial about this method, go to tenrowsday.com slash droplet dash bind off. Happy knitting my friend, I'll talk to you in the next tutorial.